in the nick of time. They've made it, Mickey and Emma of Lush. Uh, they have their fourth album out, Love Life. Hey, gals, how's it going? All right. All right, so uh, you today you got your hair cut? Yeah. And you went to the Star Trek convention? Yeah. Oh, I went to that as well. I went to that Exhibition, as well. Exhibition, and how was that? Why did you go there? Do you have an interest in intergalactic Something things? to do. Yeah. And I, I've been dying to know, I'm going to start this, this interview off with fashion tips. How do you maintain the, red, the vivid red of your hair? Well, I dye it regularly. <laughs> How often do you do that? <laughs> Well, it depends. Uh, every couple of weeks or so. They haven't actually come up with a dye that's like permanent. No. Have they? You just, no. It's a, a, sort of a high maintenance thing. Yeah. yeah. Hey, um, so, okay. Uh, the album, it's a lot more direct than your past work. More, much more simple, less psychedelic. What was the influence there? Less psychedelic. <laughs> yeah, I think so. as many drugs or something. <laughs> I don't know. You speak for yourself. <laughs> you cleaned up your body. <laughs> um... We just thought that's what the kids wanted, really, you know, something a little more direct. Is that what you wanted? Direct? A little bit more direct? Was that a yes or a no? I, I'm not sure, sort of like... I'm sure they loved all of your phases, um, but it's sort of like a Beach Boys 60s, 60s uh, soundtrack, like BBC soundtrack, like to serve with love. i grow a beard and line a bed for a long time. I can do that. And a lot of the, <laughs> what was that? Nothing. <laughs> Did I miss private yeah. joke? Private joke. Go on. Okay. Um, <laughs> A, a lot of songs like uh, Lady Killer, Single Girl, Child Catcher, sort of uh, uh, sort of a, uh, aggressive, angry attitude toward men. Is, is what's prompting that? Where's that, where that coming from? We or, hate men. <clears throat> do you hate men? No, I hate men. Uh, we've, got, we've got two men in the band. How can we hate yeah. men? Yeah. We just but, think they need to have, have a little go at them now and again. You know? Yeah. And is it really from the point of view of male bashing, or is it more like empowering yourself? I just think there's some idiots around, yeah. and you know, if you want to write a song about them, you can. And you must have been really bugged by them, because you, they inspired a whole lot of songs, eh? A couple of them, yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe a couple, yeah. <laughs> and you have that, the uh, duet with Jarvis Cocker, the sort of Love Gone Wrong duet. And why did you choose Jarvis as the lead male singer in that song? Because, uh, well, Chris, our drummer, was meant to sing that song originally, but he bottled out and mm. said, no, I can't do it. So, And we know Jarvis. Jarvis is a good pal of yours. And he's a friend, and he's very, very famous in England, and we thought, cynically, maybe it would help us sell more copies <laughs> of the record. So you just called him up and said, hey, I got this song for you. You want to go sing it? No, I went up to him at gig and, with a demo tape going, please don't hate it. Will you sing on it? Oh, cool. And were you like in the studio singing to each other, like sort of Chris Christopherson and Barbara Streisand? No. no. <laughs> were you in separate rooms, separate tracks? No, I'd altogether? done my bit, and then he came in and he had a cold. He was drinking cough medicine and beer, and then he went that in. That is definitely a love gone wrong type of thing. Um, on, your, on your credits, it says, no thanks to the, after all of your thanks, it's like, but no thanks to the Clonmel bouncers. What did they do? <laughs> The Clonmel bouncers, Clonmel is a town in Ireland that we visited when we were on holiday last year, and they wouldn't let us into a club because we weren't dressed properly. Oh, those dress oh, codes. Yeah, so we were. So no thanks to the Clonmel bouncers. Yeah, that's terrible. You couldn't just like use your um, star quality to... Definitely not, not. No, need to Ireland. <laughs> not very big there. I have one last question. Who's the dude? On, is this an auxiliary member of Lush? or Brother who? on the couch. What's his name? Don. Don? Your brother? <laughs> <laughs> He's a mate of the photographers. Okay. Uh, okay. Cool. Uh, you're playing tonight at the Phoenix. Um, early show. You're going to have to dash down there and do sound check or something. Um, Thrush room starts at 7 and you take the stage at 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. Is it all ages? Oh, I don't know. Actually. I think it might. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Right on. Okay. So, um, any more Canadian dates? Montreal tomorrow. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Let's take a look at your new video. This is 500 Shake, Baby Shake. Thanks for finally getting here on time. Very good. That's okay.